I'm mentally here today. Yeah, are you? Are you yeah. on? Are you on the ball? Are you I'm ready? I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. I got the right mindset for this show today. <laughs> Looking forward to it, Jamie. I mean, you have been viral for the last 24 hours. Jurgen Klopp absolutely had it off with you. I know. What was all that about? He was angry. You he made what? him angry. Mate, I woke up and, like, I've never seen my phone blow up as much as it was. I was like, what's happened? And I'm like, Jurgen Klopp has, has done this. And I'm like, when I've seen it and, and you know, seen the clip, I'm thinking, come on, Jurgen. Like, this is a bit, it's a bit too much, isn't it, for well, me? Well, let's hear what Jurgen Klopp let's actually to had to say. We forget in these moments how good Brentford is, to be honest. Um, I had, it was that bad. I, I, I drove home. I drove home on, um, I watched the first half here, I think. Then I drove home and coincidentally listened to Talk Sport. And Gabi, he lost against us 6 0 when I my first year. I couldn't remember him as a mentality monster on the pitch, but what he said about United and that in that show, I was close to call in. And I, I was close to call in and tell him, you forgot completely that you have been a player. It's unbelievable. It was unbelievable. And if X players go already like this, then you can imagine how everything else is going. So and now you just have to ask yourself, just to ask yourself, um, what, what, um, how would you want to react in a situation like this? And you would, of course. Gabby, the club. I mean, I know, come on. I, I love know, it. I'm all for it. Listen, it was a bit harsh, but to be listen, fair, yep. I'm all about it. Listen, first of all, Jurgen Klopp's great, great, listening to our exactly, show, it's getting great, angry. It's great for the show, you know, listening to TalkSport, all managers should be. But for me, Jamie, I've got bosses at TalkSport that I, I answer to. And if my reaction to Manchester United being 4-0 down was too much, I'm sure I would have heard about that. You know, I don't need Jurgen Klopp <laughs> to, to tell me um, how to be a pundit. You know, he needs to concentrate on... Being a manager, he wouldn't take advice off me um, as a coach, would he? So I'm not going to take advice off Jurgen Klopp. But it's settled now. I think Mr. Jordan. What did you say it at there? You said something about him playing in uh, Bundesliga C or something. Is it? Is did it? it? I don't down? know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Pipe down, Jurgen. You said Simon Jordan sorted him out for me. My good friend Simon. Yeah, you know, loves I owe Simon a drink. But um, very strange, you know, for him to back Manchester United. But you might be playing mind games. Maybe he's a bit nervous about um, Monday night. If they don't get a result against Manchester United, it's he wants to game. make out that, you know, Brentford are better than what they actually are. Lost today to Fulham. So, very strange. But, Jürgen, if you're listening, I'm available for a chat anytime. Jürgen. Catch, catch up in Liverpool, <laughs> grab a drink. No problem, Jürgen. Jürgen, if you get angry with any other <laughs> Premier League managers out there, get angry with Gabby Agbonglaw, <laughs> make sure you phone in. We'll have you on, have your say. Aston Villa today, mate. We've got to talk about it. It's a huge talking yeah. point. Get absolutely battered by Crystal Palace. I want to go to Ryan, who's an Aston Villa fan right now. Ryan, good evening. Good evening. Yes, boys. How are we? Yes, Gab. Yes, right, Gab. Mate. How are we? We're good, Ryan. We're good. You were, again, shocking at the back. And Crystal Palace turns his over. It's not looking good for Gerard right now. Yeah, yeah. I can't, I can't argue, to be honest with you, mate. We haven't... We haven't actually improved. If you look at look at us, our squad looks better. You've got Yucatina, you've signed Luca Dean. Danny Ings was starting to look a bit sharp. Bailey was sharp in pre-season. I personally don't think he knows the best 11. I don't think he knows the best formation. And McGinn being captain for me, I don't know what you think, Gab, but it's, it's not for me, I'll, I'll be honest. But I think, you know, disappointing again today, of course, but Crystal Palace... Come on, Palace, mate. Disappointing Sal- is not good enough. Sal- disappointing. Sal- 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 Park Shocking. Is, is a tough place to go. Shocking. But it tough. it's a tough it place to tough. go, isn't it? Yeah, it is, mate, and you're right. And you seen what Arsenal, it was tough for them. But I just think it's shocking. We're crying out for a number eight, Gav. Absolutely crying out. Like, you look at someone like Conor Gallagher. Yeah. Why ain't Villa being linked to someone like that, Gav? No, I know what, I have to agree. I have to agree, but it's just watching today, you know, walking scoring, I'm thinking, you know, we can build on that, we can keep attacking Crystal Palace, but some yeah. of the goals and some of the defending today, you know, I like Matty Cash, but I thought today he really struggled, you know, yeah. Zaha had him on toast all game. Yeah. Zaha yeah. and Eze looked like they were playing, like, six a side of their mates, some of the things they were doing, and, you know, someone's yeah. got to put a tackle in, yeah. kick, if you have to kick Zaha, kick him, you know, he was taking yeah. the nick. 100%. Yeah, it was miles just- off it. We don't seem to defend very well at all. And we don't seem to create. And I look at our team on paper and I think, why can we not create chances? Mm. We've got the players, haven't we? 
100 percent got the players go, but I just think, what would you say our best formation or team is? Because I don't think I don't know any Villa fan that genuinely knows. I think it's hard today. I'm looking at um, during the game, and I'm thinking Leon Bailey getting on the ball. I want him to get it further. You know what I mean? Out on the on the touchline, get it wide, take people yeah. on. Brendia, you know, good player, but he's receiving the ball with maybe too many bodies around him. And I want to see maybe like wingers. Yeah, I don't know. They're, like they're very narrow. Be, yeah, very, 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 narrow. Narrow. very narrow for me on a, on a tight pitch at Selhurst Park. Some games it will work, and then some games maybe like change the formation. But you know, we've got to give Gerard, you know, time. I think three games in, we can't be asking for Gerard to be um, replaced. We've got to give him time.